Welcome to another live, unfortunately, a little bit late today. Um, it's jump out morning, so there's always a lot going on. We're just getting organized here at the stable. Uh, we've got uh, feed here. We've got our little dingo filling up all the sawdust bins for the weekend. So it's all happening. Uh, never a dull moment in a stable. And uh, I was lucky enough to get out to Dubbo yesterday. I'm an ambassador for the Dubbo Cup. And of course, I know a star won the Dubbo Cup last year. He was very, very good winning that. He broke the track record. And he's actually back in the stable now. So we're definitely going to look for some good races for him during the spring. He's been running really, really well. So uh, we had a lot of good jump outs today. I think they're going pretty well. And we've got a fair few trialers on Monday. Um, nice of you to join. We've got no questions there. Uh, here we go. I think the last horse off the walker. Raj, all good, mate? Yeah, all good, Under control? Yeah. Any winners for the weekend? Spring Lee. Spring Lee. Yeah. There you go. Hope you're a good judge, Raj. Right, Bobby, what do you got for us? I had some nice horses jump out this morning, all, uh, all seem to have gone well, uh, we've had some good feedback, so yeah, they'll be up and coming and looking forward to Spring League getting back to the races this, this weekend. Fantastic, right, let's go through. Happy Belly coming along really well, very, very nice filly, I think she's going to definitely measure up the city class. Uh, here we've got Can Do Can Do, I think she's trialling Monday, she's going okay. Time Bandits won four of eight, she jumped out very well this morning. She's pretty impressive. You yeah. right here, Bobby? Um, I have a couple of times. I think she's definitely improved for this prep. Yeah, it's going well. We've got Picasso's Dream. She was a good winner at Bathurst the other day. Um, she's won three of eight, so she's fairly progressive. We're going to look to put her up probably over a little bit further and probably up to uh, provincial grade now. So I think she's going well. Lady of Luxury last week, the, the track didn't favour her. It was not great at all. Um, Belle Clear hit this New Zealand import uh, going pretty good nice nice mare uh, she's won two group ones in New Zealand you ridden her much Bobby? Yeah I ride her quite a lot uh, she's definitely improving the more she's sort of going up in her work and looked to have gone really well on Tuesday on the grass actually. Actually where's Luke today? Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice he was off did you notice he wasn't here? I do. I, I know this when Luke's not here. Yeah. Jeez, I didn't even know he was off. Triple Tempo. She's a nice filly. Uh, she's had a long time off, but she's got really good ability. She's trialled well, and she jumped out super today, so I think she's on track. Uh, who did you ride in the jump outs, Bobby? I didn't ride any today. I didn't was you? taking Fair care out. of the... Uh, the uh, post jump out videos. There we so go. Well, it's all about communication. Out. So, uh, Magnu Cat, she's running on Wednesday. I think she will run really well. 1100 should suit. Uh, here she's an A list. I think yesterday was a perfect example of a uh, mare that's in really good form. She draws gate one. Everything looks good on paper until we got the rain in the morning and then. Uh, gate one sort of ended up being a really bad spot to be in. So I still think she ran well for fourth. She mightn't have been 100% comfortable. The track was a bit shifty last week. Understandably so with the race, with the rain in the morning. Here she is, Stephanie Magnetica. We can't go past the Stradbroke winner. Um, why does she always put her ears back I like don't think that, she likes Bobby? Very much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she does either. Uh, and interesting, we've had her half sister buy Midsummer Music come into the stable during the week uh, called The Magnet, and she's a nice filly, not unlike her sister. Here's a promising filly for Derby, Ellipsis. Uh, she's won a trial, she's had a break, she's come back so much bigger and stronger. Absolutely thrilled with her. And no second thoughts, ran a really good race uh, the other day. Probably a little bit green, had to cover a bit of ground. Um, He's a rapper, hey. Well, he's been a bit of a problem child. Of course, a Tancred Stakes winner. Uh, he had a temperature. The last two preparations, he's had a temperature, but he had a temperature. He's back in work now, um, but he he's definitely behind in terms of we won't get to the Caulfield Cup. Maybe we have to look at some uh, races a little bit later, but he's been sort of frustrating. He's got all the ability in the world, and if anything, he's still relatively lightly raced. I think the best is yet to come, so... 
Fingers crossed. Star May, she's trialling really well, or trialled really well. I think she's in for a, a very good prep. Um, so we'll keep our fingers crossed here. Yeah, of course, new season. Bobby, what did you make of the last season? I thought we had a brilliant season. Probably one of the best yet. What was your highlight? I think uh, Overpass winning the Quokka for the second time around. A head of osmosis, that's a big call. It is, it is, but uh, <laughs> I had a lot to do with Overpass, so Mora is closer to my heart. So Bobby took Overpass to Perth three times in a row. Three times in a row, yeah, two quokkas, one to bottom. Yeah. Might get back there, and of course she looked yep. after osmosis in Melbourne too, which was, I think, uh, probably the highlight of my season, I have to be honest that was a, a pretty big win and of course he's going to about to start on a stud career it's so very exciting here's a horse that ran yesterday a little by just short uh of her best she had to get back but i thought she made really good ground late i think watch out for her next time she's going very well here's spring lee uh lovely zoo star talking about zoo stars of course osmosis is a zoo star um look how clean her bed is and she's all set to go tomorrow she's got a good gate gate three uh, looks to be good speed in the race. She should be able to get a gun run just off them. And of course, the last time we saw her, she ran a beautiful second at Scone in the listed three-year-old race. So, of course, she resumes as a four-year-old. Hasn't had a long time out, so she's only had the one trial, but she should be able to get a gun run just in behind them. And really happy with how she's going. Uh, we've got Dance to the Boom. She trialled well the other day. Oh, explosive Soho artist, nice trapeze artist, Billy. And Lepidri. We might duck through to the other side now. What are the comments have we got? Another big season? Yeah, so it was a big season, 23-24, uh, and looking forward to this season, folks. It, um, it all starts again. We're back to zero, competitive games, so you need to, it's important to try and punch out a few winners early. Um, James Clark's joined. Hey, good judge. Bought Steffi Magnetica. Bought a few slow ones too, but we won't worry about that. Uh, Mug Punda. Mug Punda said it's better without Luke. <laughs> Hard to <I'm> disagree. <laughs> Hard to disagree with that one. Uh, Ashish joined. Good to have you on, mate. But crook at the moment. How much patience is left with Luna Field? Not a lot. Uh, he had his chance the other day and he's just not finding the line like he can. Uh, I wouldn't have been backing him at the short price myself, but uh, hindsight's always very, very easy. So we'll scoot down the bottom here, come back on the boys' side, finish off best of the day and go from there. Look at that nice clean barn. That's what we like. As can Pete. Fleet Commander, he's really well. He um, He's in good order. Uh, and he's ready to go to the races. He's nominated for next Wednesday. He could go there. He's a nice, pretty fast, uh, fast net rock gelding. Dream Flight, he actually went an okay race last week. He definitely needed it. Uh, but he's coming along well. He's done hot too, of course. They're too darn hot. They're in big, big demand. He won as a two-year-old and had a jump out this morning, went super this morning. You see that, Bobby? Yeah, I did. Uh, I really like this horse. Uh, I think he's he's a really nice one moving forward and uh, seems to do everything right as well. He's got a great attitude. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got ability. Hollywood hero, we're going to try and get a big dance berth with him. Victor jumped out this morning. Frank Colt going to be better over a little bit further. Shervington went well. Uh, he's a nice horse, of course, a half to Malkovich, really good family. And all in the mind, he was very good last Wednesday. He's got a um, strap off, we'll do that up. But he's possibly going to the Forbes Cup. We've got two in the right, two in the Forbes Cup, Don Pedro and him. I think they're both a pretty good chance, and they both want a better track. They're probably going to get that out there. He was very good at uh, last week, so he's in good order. Um, Greens for a ride the river. He went a very good race last week as well. Just wasn't 100% comfortable in the track, but he's in great order. Just organising, tightening up his shoes for his start at the Olympics in a couple of weeks. Glontone, he's possibly running Wednesday or Wednesday week. 
A Canadian ruler jumped out this morning and he went a little bit better too, so that was encouraging. Uh, Battleton will kick off in a couple of weeks, probably two weeks from tomorrow. And here, of course, is Father's Day. Um, had excuses, I think, last time to the races. He was a little bit sore uh, behind, but he seems to be in great order. And his work on Tuesday was excellent. Bobby, how's he been going? Yeah, he seems to be back to his old self. Uh, he went over a couple of jumps this morning. Uh, seems to be really happy and well. So, yeah, fingers crossed that tomorrow he's back to himself. Right, oh, Bobby, you can do the next run, box five. Who have we got? This is Overpass, king of Baker Racing. Um, He's back in really, really good nick. Um, I think he looks stronger and better than ever. And uh, it's definitely, yeah, looking forward to what he can bring this season. There you go. I'd debate the king part. I might say prince, but... <laughs> There you go, great bond and uh, looking forward to getting him up. So he's probably going to be ready to go Everest Day, fresh up Sydney Stakes or into the Everest. Uh, he's Luna Field, he's relaxing, he's only fair at Bathurst. Here's Cabalas, he's a horse we've got high hopes for. He's going to have a gallop left-handed tomorrow morning um, to get him possibly prepared to going down to Melbourne. Uh, Bobby, you might have to go there early September, book your flight. Uh, our anchorage, he's going well, so he'll probably run Saturday week, 2400, he was very good last time. Uh, Don Pedro in the Forbes Cup, I think just excuses first up on a really wet track. He's actually going much better and the blinkers go on. I know a star, he's been a revelation, Dubbo Cup won a 23, um, and there's some good races for him in the spring. And line of five, I think the track definitely played against him last week, but he's going to be better for the run, he looks good. Insane jumped out this morning, went okay. Thunderlips, he's going very well actually. He's going to trial early next week. I stole a Merc, full to Iona Merc, and he jumped out very well this morning. I think he's got some of the family ability, of course, for Derby and Malkovich, the old timer. Uh, well, I'd say old timer, but he's been a great stalwart. Alan, don't duck away, mate. Oh. <laughs> uh, Yes. So what we can do when Alan sends the bill yesterday on the 1st of August, before I'd even had my muesli, uh, Bobby and I, Bobby, what sort of coffee would you like? Oh, I'd love a cappuccino. Would you? Cappuccino, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll have a piccolo and a tea. I'll and get you up. That pretty much okay. sums it up. Best for the weekend? Uh, do we include Forbes for the weekend, which is on it, Sunday? Anywhere. All in the mind. Yeah, that's is a very biased part. <laughs> and uh, Bobby, best for the weekend? Um, I think Don Pedro could go well third up, actually. Yeah. Uh, there you go, got one for value. And I'll say Father's Day, I think he can bounce back, be positive. We'll go from there. Any questions? No questions? Anything else to finish off? How's Perfumist going? She's really good. She's next week, we might show you where she lives. Uh, we've had a few, few exciting developments and uh, Xavier, good to have you on. Yeah, good luck, Group 1 Gaz, Father's Day. Uh, the winter coat on him is not as good as me and take care folks. Look, I've got to get back on the machines.